Happy holidays, everybody. Old Guy Jammin' here. Today we're going to look at the PV Invective Mini Head versus the Angle Fireball 25. I'm going to give you a chance to see the dials in just a second, but let me tell you about the signal chain. It's uh, the uh, ESP with uh, EMG pickups. ESP with the EMG tuned to drop B <laughs> is what I'm using. I am not engaging the boost or the tight in either of the heads. They both have it. We'll talk more about the features at the end. I'm not driving it with any pedals. This is just the amplifiers as is. And we will go through a couple of riffs and then at the end we'll dial up the gain to max on both. I'm not going to make a lot of adjustments to the EQ because they both have really nice placed EQs. You'll just have to take my word for it. And I'll give you a look at the dials. Both have plenty of mid-range, which is what we really care about, right? Um, you're going to have bass. They both have plenty of bass and high-end. But the mid-range sweep is what a lot of us care about, and they have plenty to go either way. You can be really mid-present or really mid-scooped. They both have plenty of mids. So we'll get right into this. I'm going to bring you over here so you can get a good look at the dials where they sit currently. And then, there we go. All right, so that's where we're starting. That's where the EQ was, and we're not messing with any, any of this. We'll, we'll just deal with the, uh, the gain on both dirty channels. We're not gonna look at clean channel today either, and both amps are in full power mode. <laughs>
let's talk about these two amplifiers. There are the knobs as they were used. Uh, and in regard to the knobs, one thing I like about the angle is the writing is along the top. Very easy for me to see what's going on, whereas with the PV, the writing is on the bottom. And so I have to, because I don't have a full stack with the head above me, I always have to look underneath to see what knob does what. Now, after a few weeks of continued use, you'd know you'd have that all memorized. So probably not too big a deal, but still it's something I really appreciate. Well, the clean channel we didn't go over, but you'll have to take my word for it that the clean on the angle is better. It's just more, it's brighter and chimier than the PV clean, which is just kind of flat. It's there. Uh, both amps take pedals really well. Both amps attenuate down to from full power to about half power to one watt. One's rated in watts. One is full, medium, and low power. Um, the angle, and I think they both have loads in them as well, so you can run them silently. You can check all the features. They're both just stuffed with features. But make sure you look at the features because there is some differences. Both have a mid boost. I still prefer hitting the OCD pedal when I want to rip a lead. Uh, the mid boost is nice for an EQ change of sorts, but as far as you know, just getting a nice lead tone, I'm still in the OCD camp. The PV has a tight switch, which in effect gives you a third channel, which is a nice feature. It cuts the bass a lot and it cuts the gain a lot so that you can turn, and so if you use the tight and turn the gain up considerably, you end up with a real nice crunch channel, which is a pretty nice feature. The PV also, when you're doing leads and it's being pushed with a pedal, it's crazy how easily you can get those pinch harmonics anywhere you want on the fretboard. It just happens like magic. It's just anywhere you want them, you've got them. All right, now the gain on these is a bit different. The PV, I thought, mushed up after about two or three o'clock. It wasn't usable anymore. Whereas the angle is usable, I thought, pretty much all the way up. But some people don't think there's enough gain with the angle. That's been a complaint of people on message boards or in forums. So uh, you'll have to weigh that out. Uh, for me, the angle has plenty. I'm, on, I'm in the camp of less gain s sounds better. Uh, I like articulation. I like the chunkiness. You know, let the riff do the speaking for you. Um, but I, so I find there's plenty of gain with the angle and that the PV really mushes up to a point where I don't even want, don't like it after two or three o'clock on the dial. They both work with a four button foot switch and it pretty much handles all the same thing although the two of the buttons do different things depending on which one you have it plugged into i made this one from this thrift store aluminum piece the switches and wire got from amazon uh, if, and the leds if you'd like to know how to do that you can check out diy foot switch for pv invective it works with the angle as well though uh, you've got channel switching mid boost on and off um effects loop on and off and with the angle you have a volume boost as well as or you know mid boost with a pv you can turn the gate and the uh oh what is it the boost on and off yeah the gate and or boost on and off but pretty much pretty similar there. Um, the tone, I'm gonna nutshell this, like Phil McKnight did a, uh, years ago did a review of the 6505 mini head with the EVH LBX3. And both nice amps, both sounded very similar, but at the end of the review he said, you know, the EVH head just feels and sounds like a pro's amplifier, a professional musician grade a piece of equipment whereas the PV did not. And not to take anything away from the PV, it's got a really great tone, but I find the angle, having had both of them apart and played both of them for several months, the angle just has a super high-end quality feel and operation to it. It's very easy to dial in good tones. 
uh, where, and the PV just does not have that same high-end feel that I get from the Engel, but they're both great. But the PV is also four to five hundred dollars cheaper than the Engel as well. Uh, I think I mentioned I'm playing through the Pro Cab. You know, the angle with the Pro Cab is just a beautiful rig you could totally be proud of. The Pro Cab is great. I'm running the Eminence DV77 still. After biasing the angle last week, I brought it back in and played it, and it just sounded so perfect, so big, so huge, that I'm going to leave the 77 in there uh, just for giggles. I see no point in going back to the V30. I really like the way it's all sounding. Okay. So I think I've covered everything. Happy holidays to everybody. Let me know what you think in the comments. Save your pennies, and if you can, I'd recommend you get the angle with that Pro Cab. It's gonna cost you a bit, but keep cleaning gutters, keep doing chimneys, whatever extra work you can do, and in a few months, you'll have the dough you need to buy something really, really nice. All right, happy holidays again, everybody. I am out, see you next time. Thank you.